What's up guys, in this video I'm gonna show you how to speed up your computer with my top three tips. Let's get right into it. The most frustrating thing, other than popcorn kernels getting stuck in your teeth, is a slow computer. These are some tips to help you speed it up. The first tip is to run cleanup and security software. A lot of the slow systems are caused by you know, viruses or junk files, all that stuff. And there are many programs out there that are scams when it comes to like cleanup software, but these programs that I mentioned today in this video are legit. And all these software programs have free versions available so you can use them for free, but they also have pro premium versions available that you can pay for if you definitely wanna speed up your computer to the fastest point possible. And all the links that I mentioned in this video will be in a blog post below. That link will be right in the description below this video. So check out that blog post where I list all the links to these software. So there are five programs that I recommend for cleaning up and speeding up your computer. They are CCleaner, Revo Uninstaller, Oslogix Disk Defrag, Malwarebytes, and Bitdefender. So CCleaner, Revo Uninstaller, and Oslogix Disk Defrag are three great system utilities to help clean up your, your PC, get rid of all the junk files, temporary files, disable the software programs on startup, uh, disable the things that run in the background, uninstall programs that you don't need, and defrag your hard disk. I can't recommend these enough. I use these all the time when I'm working on somebody else's computer, so definitely try out those. And my two favorite security programs are Bitdefender and Malwarebytes. So Bitdefender is the antivirus, Malwarebytes is the anti-malware. If you pair both of those together, you almost will most likely not have to deal with any viruses or spyware or malware. Uh, they do a great job for uh, protecting your system. So make sure you run those and, and you're doing scans on your computer with those. And if you keep your computer clean of any viruses, you're most likely not gonna have to worry about it slowing down anytime soon. Moving on to step two is to install RAM or add more RAM. RAM is basically these memory sticks that every computer has to allow it to store the open programs. The more RAM you have, the faster your computer will be because your, your computer will be able to have more programs open at the same time. If you find yourself that you're having tons of windows and programs open at the same time and you, and you feel like your computer is slowing down during that, more RAM will be your answer. And it will definitely help you out and speed up your computer when you add more RAM to your computer. Now, the thing is you need to get the right kind of RAM. And my favorite way to find out the right kind of RAM for your computer is to use Crucial's website. They have a tool on there that you can basically look up your manufacturer and model of your computer and it will tell you the exact RAM that you need to buy and you can order it directly from their website if you want. Now it's very easy to replace the RAM in a desktop PC. Now a lot of newer laptops these days don't allow you to add or replace the RAM so make sure you check on Google whether or not you're able to replace it yourself. If not you may have to take it to a professional to add more RAM. And my third and final and best tip for speeding up your computer, which will speed up your computer probably 10 times, 20 times, 50 times, maybe 100 times faster, is to install a solid state drive or an SSD. Now traditionally, up to about five years ago, all computers came with hard disk drives to store their information, the operating system, the data on. A hard disk drive is like a mechanical drive. It has a spinning platter with a, a read-write head that mechanically has to read and write on that spinning platter. That's why hard drives are so slow compared to these solid state drives. A solid state drive is, is not a moving drive at all. It doesn't have any physical movement. All the storage is done through flash memory chips and integrated circuits. So there's no moving parts at all. It's not mechanical compared to a hard disk drive. That's why solid state drives are so much faster. And that's why I recommend them to everybody who gets a new computer nowadays. And so if you're looking for a new computer, make sure it has a solid state drive in it and not a hard disk drive because it will totally change your life when you start using a solid state drive. And if you have a computer that you want to keep for a few more years, I would highly recommend replacing your hard disk drive with a solid state drive because it is going to be so much faster. The boot up is so much faster. The, when you're starting and launching apps is so much faster. Your overall computer speed will be so much faster with a solid state drive. And I will leave a link to my favorite solid state drive in the blog post also in the description below so you can check that out on Amazon because once you upgrade to a, a solid state drive you'll never want to go back to a hard disk drive it's so much faster it's quieter it doesn't make as much noise it's more battery efficient it doesn't use as much power you can move it and shake it around without having to worry about it uh, damaging the disk and losing your data and the reason they haven't gone full mainstream yet is because they're still more expensive than hard disk drives so if you're buying a budget PC it's going to have a hard disk drive most likely uh, I highly suggest you look get one that has a solid state drive drive or upgrade your current PC to a solid state drive and install your operating system and applications on that solid state drive. It'll make everything run so much faster. I actually replaced the hard disk drive in my MacBook Pro from 2009 
with a solid state drive and I haven't had the need to upgrade to a new MacBook Pro because the solid state drive has completely made my my 2009 MacBook Pro, which is coming up on seven years, it makes it run so much faster than it had before. And I, I have no reason to upgrade because of the solid state drive is in there and it and it runs perfectly fine. I have no reason to upgrade. That's why I haven't been able to do a review over the new MacBook Pros. So that solid state drive was a huge life changer and I highly recommend those. So those were my top three tips on how to speed up your computer and make your PC run faster. If you have any questions, just leave a comment down below. I'll try to get back to you and make sure you subscribe for more tech videos in the future. I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.